It's time for the Northwest Fishing Reports with Aaron Borg, Mike Carey, and Rob Holman. Come along as we travel to hidden gems and fishing hotspots around the Northwest. You'll see a little of everything as we fish with top guides on their home waters and bring you the latest in tackle, tactics, and techniques to help you catch more fish. Late Summer Kings in the San Juan Islands opens up today's episode. Then Rob hooks up with YJ Guide Service and special guest former big leaguer Jeremy Affelt for Tiger Muskie on Newman Lake. Now, it's time to go fishing. Presented by your Inland Northwest Toyota dealers and the Fishing Hole and Sports Shop. Hi everyone, Mike Carey with Northwest Fishing Report. We've got a special adventure today coming to you from the San Juan Islands. I'm fishing with Randy and Robbie from Northwest Fishing Reports. We're gonna show you a few locations here around the island as we go after some Chinook salmon. Late summer, let's go fishing. Oh, it's off. Oh, came off. Good morning. We're just coming up on Pile Point. We're we're just uh, we're on the slack tide right now. We're going to fish about a half hour into the slack tide on this little spot and then move on. Um, we're currently running uh, three rods, 11-inch flashers on all of them, a couple uh, spoon-type lures, and a fly on the other. We'll see what happens. We've actually had uh, two takedowns, but somehow or another we didn't put either one in the boat just yet. Fish on! Jeez. Wow, that did not take too long. We've got some hot action here. Woo, look at that fish go. Wow, this is our third fish already. There's only one other boat out here fishing with us too. What a beautiful place to go fishing. Randy, tell us a little bit about uh, Pile Point and the fishery here this time of the year. So it, it's kind of a, and this year is a weird year because we can only keep um, Chinook and then a, I think a sockeye and a pink salmon. Pile Point fishery, it, it's kind of underutilized in my opinion. It's uh, definitely an outgoing tide show. I think we're catching it just right today. And there's our flasher. Ooh, nice fish. Oh, that was a nice run. Yeah, peeled that was off cool. A, peeled off a good 20 yards. Oh, man. Big fish, right? It's a good fish. Yeah, it's definitely a nice fish. Oh, come on, baby. Not quite, but we're getting there. We're getting closer. Double. Getting close. Shaker? No. Here we go. Oh, oh nice yeah. Fish. Nice fish. Okay, stand behind me. Stand behind me. This little piggy came to the boat pretty early in the morning. Randy, that's a beautiful Chinook. Good job. That's why we're here. Fishing off a of pile point. We've lost, uh, missed a couple, but this one is going in the cooler. Did we actually have a double? Yeah, yeah we had a double. We actually I... had a shaker there. No, it was, it was uh, probably what was it, eight, nine, ten pounds. I have the next fish. It ever comes. Don't say that. <laughs> Cut it out. Randy, where's our next spot? Now we're going to go to a place. It's actually the entrance to Mosquito Pass or Open Bay. And it's just this side of Henry Island. And we're going to work the bluff up from Henry Island back into the pass. up here is called Henry Island. Um, it kind of forms the, the outside of Mosquito Pass. We're actually going to be fishing between there 
and San Juan Island is an area called Open Bay. It's basically a big shelf that's out under the water, typically suspended fish this time of the year. Um, usually larger, but we'll see what we come up with. We'll run across this you know, just the way the current is really fast. So we want to be ready to go. We're going to get ready to start dropping the gear. Randy, what spot is this that you've got us fishing? I don't know if it has a name. Um, it's just the, the cliff on the back side of Henry Island. Um, we're actually going to work over into Open Bay and see a few boats in there right now. Oh, fish! <laughs> I thought I saw that bouncing. not grass this time. <laughs> I'm gonna land this one. Woo! That, that's really nice fish, I think. Henry Island, right? Well, mm -hmm. this is open bay here, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mosquito passage right there. Mm -hmm. Never had to work this hard on the camera. Enjoy. I oh, am. Yeah. Tell me what you want to hear. It's very good to come over here. You're doing good. Almost there. Keep going. Lift and wind. Lift and wind. Wow. Holy crap. Okay, lift again. And again. Okay. Cut. Rubby. Oh my god. Rubby, you're pulling out the net. You got it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy cow! <laughs> Woo! Wow! That's a slap. That is a pig! Thank you. You bet! Good job! <laughs> nice uh, guiding there, Randy. Yes, very. You got us on some big fish today. This is the first time I've worked so hard for a salmon this big. He's not that long, but he's pretty heavy. Yeah. Beautiful fish. I'm sure my wife's gonna be happy. <laughs>'s to catch the, uh, the smallest of three but hey I'm not going you still nice fish yep and uh, we didn't have to grind it out did we eight nine pounds yeah well you good Wow what a great day fishing for Chinook in the San Juan Islands with Randy. I really want to thank him for taking Robbie and myself out. We had a great day, got some beautiful fish. 
If you're interested in learning more, Randy posts a lot of fishing reports on NorthwestFishingReports.com, so check his reports out. He goes by a username RCs, that's R-S-E-A-S, -E and we'll see you guys on the water and online. Hey everybody, we're out here at Newman Lake in Spokane County. Newman Lake's just 30 minutes northeast of Spokane, and we've got a great show for you today. We've got special guest Jeremy Affelt out here today, fishing with some guys from Youth Outdoors Unlimited. Bid How'd you guys end up here? We bid on an auction uh, for Youth Outdoor Unlimited, and I'm with the Wildlife Council for Spokane, the Inland Northwest Wildlife Council. Right on. And so we have a table every year at the Youth Outdoors Unlimited, and I just happened to bid on this trip. Craig Dowdy and Scott Imholt of YJ Guide Service were kind enough to donate the trip for Dan and Dave to win and Jeremy to come along. Um, we're going to be fishing a lot of docks. We'll be fishing some drops, some weed beds. Um, pretty much you can fish this whole lake. You can start right here, fish the whole thing. I mean, the whole lake is good. As I understand it, this is one of only a handful of lakes that Washington's developed as tiger muskies sport fisheries. Correct. There's six or seven lakes, I believe, in total. Cool. I want to try to catch something. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go fishing, he yeah, says. Man. I just want to go catch something. Now talk more about it, Rob. Tiger Musky. Uh, we'll go over a little bit with this fish while we have them. If you look at the dots and the dashes go up and down. On a muskie, they go up and down. On a pike, the only difference is these turn sideways and the dots and dashes go this way. The main things you want to remember out here is this lake is mainly a swimming lake over a fishing lake. I mean, there's still lots of bass. There's largemouth, smallmouth, there's trout, there's the tigers. So um, we're going to fish a lot of docks. We're going to fish some open water. We're going to fish both sides of the boat all the way through. But what you need to remember is these docks have ropes coming off of them. Um, so just be aware when you're casting up next to a dock, look at it really close to see where the ropes are. There's one. Oh, that's a game. That's a pretty good one there. Oh. Yeah. Sails over. Okay. That. Oh, we got one. Nice. He gave me a little light tap and I just stopped it and he just smoked it. A little tap and then. Yep, little tap. Change speed. Yeah, it was just a little tiny tap and it felt like a little tiny fish touched it and, and I just stopped my spoon and it just smacked it. it. That's about a 33 incher. And just release him right away. Oh, he's got, he is all, he's, he's all, all arched bent up. over. They bite you? Oh, yeah, and they've got lots of, um, ah. yeah, I, I don't think I would have managed that without some colorful language, Craig. Well done. That was pretty good. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just soon not put him in the net, so I'm trying to get this out of this bill. Back up in another one. There you go. There is a release. Swam right away. Look oh, at that. Yeah, that Two in the boat. Three on already. Nothing to it. Ow. <laughs> It's a real subtle take. It was tap, tap. I said it, I thought I might be in weeds. It was still a while, look at the mouth on that. Holy cow. Jeez, man. 
Craig, you gotta be very careful when you're down there. There's all those teeth flashing around. Teeth and hooks, all kinds of stuff to get hung up on. Sure, they'll throw that spoon at you, won't they? Yeah, they will. Once I had him, he really tried to take off. State record is... It's in the 40s, but the state record now, it's got, well, you gotta be 50 inches to keep them, so. 50 inches? get 50. You get a state record. Go ahead and hold that. We'll get a. And you said there's chance of that in a couple lakes here in uh, uh, eastern Washington. <laughs> Pretty fun stuff. You're going to have to do it without the gloves for me. Okay. I'm a big boy. So reach right down in here. Right there. So this gets far up towards its face, mm -hmm. towards its tip of its nose. Reach up in there nice and tight. All right, bring him in, get him in the boat. Get yeah. in the boat. Holy cow, look at that thing, it is thrashing. Woohoohoohoo! Tiger Muskie with Craig Dowdy and YJ. Well, holy cow! Good job, guys. Look at those things. One. That's vicious. Look how beat up its tail and fins <laughs> are. These are tough fish. Wow. How many? Three. Three, got snapped off once, lost another one at the boat. <laughs> Two? Doing a whole bunch of hits. Oh yeah, we were, right before it rained, in? we were all yeah. over it. I got one too. Just wanted to make sure you guys were okay. Yeah, we're catching fish. That's amazing. <laughs> Getting hits. Yeah, beat it, you're ruining our area. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is your typical Newman Lake Tiger Muskie. Um, like I said, it's a mix between a true, true muskling and, and a pike. So they're sterile, they're put in here just to clean up garbage fish. The difference is you can see the dashes are straight up and down on this fish. So it goes dot, dash, dot, dot, dash. On a pike, a straight pike, the dashes would be sideways on it, horizontal rather than vertical. So when people say, you know, what have I caught? You can tell that by exactly just looking at the dot, dots and the dashes on the fish itself. So this is a perfect example of what you catch out here at Newman Lake. Lots of them this size um, and bigger. So we're on them pretty good today. So we'll get this guy back in the water and see what we can do. Trying to stop the bleeding. Seems like if you're not bleeding, you're not tiger fishing. So we're bleeding, so it's a good thing. You bleeding? Nope. I'm just uh, throwing lures in the water. Rob. See how he says that? Yeah. Rob. Have you heard? He stole his fish as well. I know. I was right next to that lure and all of a sudden he, took, he threw right in next to me. It's unbelievable. I know. That was yeah. It's called Greedy Fisherman. It'll come back to haunt him. Fine. Right now I'm just catching a sunburn. It's fine. That's because he's fish hogging. It's because, yeah, people are fish hogging, you're fishing. My lure is probably fake. <laughs> That's a hot dog, not a lure. That's a piece yeah. of bacon on there. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know you're supposed to have bait on there. Yeah, you probably had, you had Rob has his dipped in blood to it or something. <laughs> dipped in like anti-fish lure. Fish repellent. Yeah, fish repellent. <laughs> yeah. I'm the only one who hasn't caught a fish yet, but Rob keeps throwing his pole or his line in, catching more fish. It's fine. Yeah. That's what friends are for, Jeremy. Probably. Just, I'm just pushing you to make you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty excited. It's exciting that yeah. way, isn't it? <laughs> Nothing like good friends. Right. Here, let me take your fish away from you. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay. The one he caught, I got it after he was right over here boiling the water. You can see him swimming around in the water a little bit, and Dan netted it and brought it in, and we got a good shot of all that. So. Hi, I'm David Clough, 2017 president of the Inland Northwest Wildlife Council. We're the largest conservation wildlife group in the, in the state of Washington. 
One of the great things we get to do is put on the Big Horn Show every year. You might see at the Interstate Fairgrounds in Spokane. I wish you'd all come out and see us and all the great things that we do at the council. Thank you. Dude. Oh, that's a nice fish. Jerry, you, get, you, you got him. That's right. Bottom of the ninth, baby. Bottom of the ninth. <laughs> well, nine hours into the fishing experience with Northwest Fishing Reports, I finally got my first <laughs> first tiger muskie. Tiger muskie. But hey, man, it's the first time for everything. Finally got him. About pulled me out of the boat because I was not prepared for it. They got some muscle, don't they? I was lulled to sleep. They're, they're kind of powerful, aren't they? Yeah, they're awesome. The fight's pretty good. That one hammered that one, though. When I caught him, he just flat out about yanked the pole out of my hand. They'll do that sometime, right, Craig? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one just it didn't even really follow anything. I didn't feel a bite. It just yanked my pole. I thought I actually caught like a rock or something at the bottom. First tiger muskie ever. With Craig Dowdy, YJ Guide Service. Yep. Northwest Fishing Report. Good times. What was the last one we caught? Sturgeon. We caught a big sturgeon last time, yeah. You, you like the kind of unique fish, I think. I do. The know? one with like weird teeth. <laughs> right. You know? Possible, the monster fish. Poss possible dinosaur reptile crossover. You know, it's exactly good. Right. It's good. All, all found here in Washington, the old home home state. Yeah, no, I didn't even know these existed until I saw them cut today. It's good times. Bottom of the ninth, though. You Bottom ran it to the end. You yeah. ran it to the end. Yeah. Made me work a little too hard. You gotta keep you interested. My back's cramping. Gotta keep. <laughs> okay. That's right. That's <laughs> right. We got a tiger by the tail. That's it. Tiger by the tail, Jeremy. People can't say they've had Buddy, that. I wanted yeah. to take a second to talk about Youth Outdoors Unlimited and the good work they're doing in the community. Dave, you're here today because of Youth Outdoors Unlimited. It is, yeah. I'm Dave Clover with the Inland Northwest Wildlife Council, and every year at the Youth Outdoors Banquet, we buy a table and, and uh, do a sponsorship. It's a great organization that takes care of disabled and terminally ill children and give them the chance of a lifetime to go fishing and hunting and uh, gets them out in the outdoors and give them a long-lasting memory for them and their families. And we really support that. Yeah, it's awesome work they do. They take whole families out for up to a week, I understand. Uh, bear hunts and all kinds of stuff, right? They do. A friend of mine's son was actually just in Canada doing a bear hunt with them, and the taxidermy is actually provided for the family. Uh, the young Moyan uh, Zach, he had his uh, bear mount hung up at the Big Horn Show in Spokane and, and was very proud of it. Uh, got to go to Canada with his dad and the whole family. They outfitted him and he had a great time. It was a great guide service that provided it just like today, uh, providing us a nice fishing trip to catch some tiger muskies. Uh, last year in Spokane was the first ever. Yep, for that's the one that I bid on this trip here and uh, I knew it was going to a good cause and I definitely support those people over there and I know Cindy Carpenter that helps run that organization uh, does a great job with the kids and definitely want to support them. Well, thanks a lot for coming out today, bidding on that at Youth Outdoors Unlimited auction and uh, getting after your tiger muskie, Dave. Hey, appreciate, appreciate it, man. man. It was great trying to catch something new. They never caught a tiger muskie before right. and it was an awesome day. My brother got to come up from Oregon and help uh, yeah, join I in. He caught a couple it, of them. It was really a lot of fun. It's good stuff. It good time. It's our day of tiger muskie on Newman Lake. Jeremy Affel, thanks a lot. Craig Dowdy, you got us on the fish. Dave and Dan, thanks for coming out here. And of course, Scott Imholt, he's keeping the boat steady for us. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. Good job. All right. Hi, I'm Scott Imholt with YJ Guide Service. Find out more about muskie, bass, walleye, burbot fishing, all on our guide service, um, yjguideservice.com.